Hello and welcome. The Solution tab of ANSYS Fluent has options that can be used to control and monitor the solution of a CFD simulation. Before starting any CFD simulation, the solution needs to be initialized, that is, a starting guess value of the solution variables need to be imposed onto the computational mess and only then should the solver be triggered to run the simulation. The focus of this video is on the different types of initialization methods available in ANSYS Fluent. Let's get started! ANSYS Fluent solves various governing equations iteratively to calculate the solution. However, before starting any simulation, Fluent requires the solution variables to be initialized. Initialization primarily means that every individual cell must be assigned a value for every solution variable to serve as an initial guess for the solution. The general parameters that are considered for initialization are pressure, velocity, temperature if energy equation is turned on, and turbulence parameters based on the turbulence model used. For more information on initialization parameters for different physics models, refer to Fluent User Guide. A more realistic initial guess improves stability and accelerates convergence. There are five different ways to initialize a solution in Fluent. 1. Standard initialization 2. Hybrid initialization 3. FMG initialization 4. Starting from a previous solution and 5. Patching Hybrid initialization is the default method Fluent uses and is recommended for most of the cases. Let us look at the differences between various initialization methods through an example. We will consider the initialized flow field for the case of a flow past the cylinder. Standard initialization takes the values defined by the user for the solution variables and initializes the flow field to these values. As you can see here, constant values of velocity have been initialized in the computational domain. Here the values can be entered manually, computed from information based on a specified zone or averaged based on all zones. Though not the default initialization method, this is the recommended approach for advanced simulations such as those involving porous media. Hybrid, on the other hand, provides a slightly more realistic approach by imposing a non-uniform initial guess which is evident from the contours shown here. In this method, a Laplace equation is solved to determine the velocity and pressure fields and all other variables are automatically patched based on domain averaged values or a predetermined interpolation approach. This is the default initialization method in ANSYS Fluent and works well for a wide range of problems. Full Multigrid, also known as FMG initialization method, provides much more realistic non-uniform initial values as seen from the contours. It is an advanced initialization technique that is called through a text-based command. Here, inviscid Euler equations are solved by automatically constructing a desirable number of geometric grid levels. For more information on this approach, please refer to the user's guide. Though FMG takes slightly longer than other methods, a good initial solution can be obtained in a fraction of time spent to converge on a final solution. This method could be beneficial for simulations involving compressible flows and rotating machinery. It should be noted that in general, the closer the initial guess is to the final solution, the faster is the convergence. From the examples, it is evident that the FMG initialization method provides a more realistic initial guess to the actual solution. Hybrid, on the other hand, provides a slightly less realistic initial guess than FMG, but better than the standard initialization method. Now, let us look at the process of initializing the solution using common initialization methods, that is, hybrid and standard, through an example. 
we will also demo the patching method which can be used in conjunction with other initialization methods if required. Launch ANSYS Fluent in Solution Mode. Go to File and read the case file of a Mixing T model which contains both solid and fluid domains. The computational model setup is already completed in ANSYS Fluent. Now, let us directly proceed to look at how different initialization methods can be employed here. Go to the Solution tab. Note that the Solution tab can be accessed from the ribbon as well as from the tree in the Outline view. By default, Hybrid Initialization is selected in Fluent which is also generally recommended for all single-phase steady-state flows. When the Initialize button is clicked, the solver initializes the solution after solving the Laplace equation for 10 iterations to set up the pressure and velocity fields. The residuals of the solution for these 10 iterations are printed in the console window. For most cases, 10 iterations are sufficient. However, the number of iterations can be changed by specifying the number of iterations in more settings if required. Let us use the same problem again, but now we will perform the standard initialization. To employ this method, select Standard from Method in the Initialization group and click on Options to view and edit the initialization values. In the drop-down menu available, you can choose a surface from which the values for the parameters should be taken from. You can also select all zones to compute average values based on all zones or enter the values manually for each parameter to which you want the flow field to be initialized. Once selected, the parameter values will be automatically displayed in the initial values. Click on Initialize to initialize the solution. To compare both hybrid and standard initialization methods visually, let us look at the velocity contours for both. As seen from the image on the left, the standard initialization will initialize the entire flow field with a single value, whereas the hybrid initialization, on the other hand, initializes the flow field with spatially varying values, making it more realistic to the actual solution. Let us now look at the next method of initialization that is patching. The patch option is used to patch different values of flow variables onto different cells. You can patch constant values, custom field functions or expressions to cell zones and cell registers. The patch operation is widely used in multi-phase flows. Now let's go ahead and see how the patch option works. As mentioned earlier, patching can be performed alongside other initializations in a similar manner. So, let us continue with the case where we already performed the standard initialization. The goal now is to patch a temperature value of 100 degrees Celsius onto the solid pipe. To perform the patch operation, click on the patch option and select the variable to be patched, which is temperature, and then select the zone that needs to be patched with the selected variable. Also, define the temperature value to which the solid pipe is to be patched. Here, it is 100 degrees Celsius. Click on Patch and close the dialog box. You can now see the solid wall is patched with a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. To get a clear picture of how the standard and the hybrid initialization methods compare to the final solution, let us look the velocity contours before and after the simulation is completed. Here it is evident that the hybrid initialization provides closer initial guess to the solution than the standard initialization. Let us now summarize what we learned in this video. We discussed the importance of initialization and the impact of various available initialization methods in ANSYS Fluent through an example. We also looked on how to employ the standard hybrid and patch initialization methods using a hands-on demo. This brings us to the end of our video. Thank you very much for watching.